Brandon Styles. I am a little sick today under the weather, but I still wanted to come and make a video for you guys. So I'm just going to, pardon my voice, I'm going to do a quick video today to show you how to figure out not only where you rank in Google, but also how to uh, use that information to cater your content strategy and also how to tell which words are bringing traffic to your site so that you can optimize that for the people that visit. So check it out. All right, so here I am on the homepage of Google, and you're just going to go to thehoth.com slash search slash engine slash rankings. And this is a cool SEO tool I found out from my hosting service, I think. And what uh, the Hoth does here is that it helps you find your top traffic driving keywords. So this is actually how I optimized my entertainment business page, because getting all this traffic but I thought I was getting traffic for one key phrase, but really I was getting it for a whole other key phrase that I didn't even have an opt-in piece on. So let's do mine right now. So it's going to be uptown down entertainment.com. Uh, it's going to kind of process these results here. I don't even think you have to sign up with an email or anything. I think it's, it's just free. And when I scrolled down, I saw that I was ranked number one for George Strait wedding songs because I had written a blog post on uh, the top country songs and George Strait was for your wedding and George Strait was number one. And so almost half of my traffic was coming from that, which was getting 720 hits a month. So I went straight to that blog post and then created an opt-in piece and it got a lot more inquiries than I was getting from my entertainment company. So you can scroll down this and find where you rank. So I rank number one for George Strait wedding songs, and it gets 720 times a month, and 46% of my traffic comes from that. Now, I would like to skew that a little bit, so that's not the obviously the top ranking keyword I want to rank for, um, but it brings a lot of stuff. So certain keywords that you might not even be trying to rank for, you might be ranking for, so that's a good way to figure it out. So again, that's thehoth.com slash search engine rankings. All right, let's go back to the Google homepage. So one problem that people have is that Google, especially if you're using Chrome, stores your location, stores your history, your cookies and all that. So when you do a search, Google will populate results based on where you are, um, past history and all that stuff. So how can you search without affecting that? Well, you do an incognito search. So you can either, if you're on a Mac, it's shift command N or you could simply go up to these three dots right here on Chrome and do new incognito window. And when you do that, Google turns off your um, history, your cookies, your cache, all that stuff so that you can search and actually get true results um, as you would if you searched on a computer in the library. So then if you typed in like Los Angeles wedding planner or whatever, this would be the most raw organic results because you're not signed in and none of your past history or your cookies are being influenced in the search. So that's a good way to find out how, um, like to accurately see where you're ranking on pages for Google search. So hope that helps. That's today's video, how to track where you are in Google, what you're ranking for and how you can improve that. Now here's some tips to improve that. So let's go back to the Hoth. All right, now I'm just going to type in a website. Let's do Pat Flynn's Smart Passive Income. Select that reCAPTCHA. Click Start. So here are the return results for Smart Passive Income. So Pat's ranking number one for Smart Passive Income, obviously, and that accounts for about 10% of his traffic. There's his book title. I appreciate you. Now look here, Affiliate Marketing. He's ranked number seven, and that accounts for about four and a half percent of all his traffic. So if I was Pat, I'm sure he's already done this, you would want to create a page or a section dedicated to affiliate marketing on your page because for some reason people are finding you through that key phrase and so if you can optimize that that means that people are wanting this content it's getting 40,000 searches a month so 40,000 times 4.52 let's do real quick math times point uh, 0.0452 so you're getting 1800 page views a month 
for affiliate marketing. So even if you can convert 1% of that traffic, you could sell a course, you can sell a cheaper product, just something to capitalize on that traffic. So just go down, see where you're ranked high, or at least on the first page, so results one through 10, and optimize and create better pages if you can based on those search results. And that's how you can take advantage of these search results that uh, you didn't even know you were ranking for. Hope that helped. Brandon Styles, Digital Marketer, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thank you for uh, bearing with me as I get through the sickness. I'll talk to you guys soon.